Alright, it is almost 7 o'clock and it is September the 8th. I'm getting out here. I had a lot of work to do yesterday so I didn't get a chance to get out here. I can see that there's quite a bit that's receded. I'm on, I'm at Tanner on uh, Eldridge Parkway. So Tanner at Eldridge. The jack in the box right there. This is where I saw the 18 wheeler. Looks like the 18 wheeler's been cleared. I intend tomorrow. Oop, there goes a big old chunk pile coming out. Look at this. Gonna be a lot of this happening right here. Gonna be seeing a lot of that. Oh yeah. I can see that uh, the road up ahead is way clearer than it had been. I'm so gonna take a chance here, but let's see. Wow, I can't believe that AT wheeler is gone, which is good. I'm coming back up. This is one of the closest points I can get to the actual inside the reservoir. After the other day, I haven't seen it really coming down on Highway 6 at all, but I did notice it was coming down a lot over here. See, once again, coming right into the, right into the reservoir. That's the sign for the reservoir right there. You can uh, see some of the fun they had. Oh my goodness, the smell of sewer. Hmm. You can see some of the fun they had getting Mr. 18 Wheeler out of here. Looks like he tried to turn around. He maybe he backed into there and then tried to turn around one thing or another. He didn't make it. I had somebody tell me that according to, I think the National Guard, that he had tried to turn around. Which I believe that too. Well, you can see how much farther down it is. be surprised if I couldn't make it a pretty good piece down the road right here. Let's go into the reservoir at this point and see where we're at. And there are literally cracks bubbling in the concrete, which isn't a very good sign. Yeah, that's just not a good sign. I don't, I don't know what that's what that's happening from. But I can literally hear it bubbling. That's interesting. You can see there's a, uh, kick it over at an angle a little bit. So you've got a car stuck off in there. That is Clay Road. That is Clay Road. Interesting. You can see a couple of different places where the concrete seems to be bubbling. Look all along here. Look, there's a whole, oh my goodness, it's a big stretch. Yeah, I'm getting off this road. I don't know what's about to happen over here. But I can tell you this much. I can see lines of bubbles. I don't know if you guys can pick that up or not. There's literally lines of air bubbles popping up. like this. Am I picking that up good? Right there. See that? There's a crack in the ground right there. There's another one bubbling a little bit. There's some more bubbling. There's one that's steadily bubbling. There's some steadily bubbling. That's steadily bubbling. Bubbling. Look over there. You got a little piece of dry ground and it's bubbling. And, uh, yeah, same thing on the other side of the road. But I can actually see a line going all the way down. All the way down over here where it's uh, bubbling. That's interesting. I wonder if there's a sewer line or something under there that's leaking or... I don't know, but we got air leaks coming up out of the cracks in the road. 
I gotta figure it's been under a lot of pressure with all that water. So I'm gonna go ahead and back it up. With it being seven o'clock, obviously this is gonna be something of a short update. However, uh, I do wanna say that tomorrow I'm going to try to actually get up onto I-10 and take a look at Highway 6 and all of that from the other side. Um, I actually talked to a friend of mine as he was passing by there the other day. He said it's a complete lake. I haven't been down that way. I've been as far as 2 I-10, but I've been no farther. It's really eerie to be on this road and not see any cars. This is a road right now that would be jammed with cars just about back to here with traffic. This time of night still it would be, the traffic would be just horrible. But right now it's over on, a, it's over on West New York and on, on 529 and they're getting through um, on Fry, but everybody else is having to go way south or way north to get around. Or I'm sorry, way east or way west to get around. You can see right here. That I have in fact. If I can pick that up good. Where's that sign at? There we go. In the reservoir. I am, I am. So anyways, I'm gonna try and get around tomorrow early. Um, I've got just a little bit of time tomorrow morning. I'm gonna try and get around. I'm gonna take a look at, um, well, I've, I'm here now, so I think I'm gonna go to Highway 6 tomorrow. Um, I already know Greenhouse is open. I already know Barker is open. So I wanna go around to the other side and show you what's on the other end of the reservoir, uh, where that's going at on I-10. Maybe take a look at um, at Barker's, uh, Barker uh, Reservoir as well and see what's going on there. Somebody's been asking me and uh, to, to requesting that I do some filming in Katy. Katy's a pretty, uh, it's not a big city, but it's a stretched out city. So if you can give me a little bit more specific area where you'd like for me to look, um, I'm happy to go out there and take a look at it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through over here, but I'm gonna try. I don't think I can. So this guy over here has got me blocked off. So things are abnormal though, so I'm just gonna go around this way or not. So anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to be putting a new video up tomorrow. It should have um, a little bit more depth to it. Maybe take a look at some more places. Hey, that was a red light. Anyways, um, maybe take a look at some places uh, a little bit more in depth. Um, so if anybody has any requests in particular, if they want to shoot them out to me, I'll take a look over there. The areas are pretty much coming back into seclusion as far as the water goes, at least on the north side. I mean, it's going to be over on, on Clay Road for quite a while, uh, maybe a week, maybe two weeks. But overall, I think it probably isn't going to, it's probably not going to be that, that bad before it, or that long before it's all cleared out. Um, sorry for all the stutters and such, it's a little... It's a little bit of a pain to actually drive around in this city with the traffic and look around at the things I need to and and all of that and then on top of it I got to kind of be a one take Jake and not really edit anything at the moment because for one I don't have time and for two well this isn't my video camera and it's a real pain in the neck to try and shoot I gotta I've got to upload this video to uh, to uh, Google Drive and then download it to my computer and then I can do my editing and then I can shoot it back up to, to, to YouTube and it's, it's just a really long process and I'd like to get the updates out faster. So I've been doing a lot of one take jaking, getting it out. And so uh, it's been really rough audio and, and just rough videos all around and I apologize for that. But um, hopefully in the future I can do, I, I'll get another video camera here soon and I'll do a little bit, uh, 
a little bit better quality video. So, anyways, that's all I got for now. Y'all have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.